Today, we're going to talk about something that I think is really important. It's why people don't do well in job interviews. Your what is important, but your how and your why will win the day. That's important because people remember stories. And I've, I talk about that all the time. And this Wednesday, I'm going to give you some real stories to show you how you can use them in a job interview. But let's focus on the overview today. Your how and your why will win the day. You know, just answering questions without a strategy or using stories is a forgettable process. I've talked to hundreds and hundreds of people in my career as an executive recruiter where I've interviewed over 9,000 people around the world. And one of the things I found out is that people who are well-prepared but just answer questions don't do as well as even less qualified people who come in and who really know how to communicate their information. I want you to meet Pam. She's struggling. Man, Pam is really, she's really uh, having a problem. She's struggling with her um, uh, job interview, job search, uh, multiple interviews for a variety of jobs. And when she came to me, she had been looking for almost eight months. She's made it to the side interview at least three times, but she's lost to applicants who were less accomplished than she. She's discouraged and she's scared to death. I've, it's really tough when you talk to someone that you know is real capable and just got caught in a bad layoff situation and then says, you know, I am literally scared to death. I wake up in the middle of the night worrying about being homeless. Now, this is a college graduate who's paying off her student debt, and she is now looking at her dwindling savings, looking at her, her job search prospects, and she is scared about becoming homeless. That's an extraordinary thing to say in this uh, time of, in this time in our economy. But Pam's not alone. Now, here she is again. She's back at the computer. Good for Pam. But there's Roger, there's Bill, and there's Cecile, and they're all worried about how to break through and become the, the candidate everybody wants to hire. And what they don't realize is that, you know, things have changed. And it is a, it's a remarkable thing that has happened. Automation, AI, it has changed everything. And so what you have to do now is not only be really well prepared and understand the issues related to the company, understand the jobs, but you also must come to the table and be able to communicate in a meaningful way that is memorable. Interview uh, teams remember stories. Stories are a way of communicating facts in a way that is memorable. And we're going to show you how to do that on Wednesday. Everything has changed. Please, the people who are struggling the most, they kind of understand things have changed, but they haven't really responded to that change. Well, economic news continues. And right before uh, New Year's, uh, it, the uh, Business Insider came out with this report that um, uh, the U U.S. economy could be in for a surprise in 2024 that would put pressure on the Federal Reserve to drag interest rates lower. Morgan, Strand, uh, Morgan Stanley strategists say the bank listed its top 10 surprises for 2024, and that includes a hard landing, uh, a, a recession. Now, the biggest surprise of 2024 may be that the elusive hard landing finally arrives after all, just as their most investors concluded that the time this time had been different. Uh, the bank said it took most of the year for the consensus to fully embrace the soft landing. And now people are beginning to say, wait a minute. Maybe this soft landing issue is not uh, is going to be as certain as we think, but it won't take long for investors to kick themselves for having been fooled again. Now, the strategist has said that the Fed rate hikes and the U.S. Treasury debt issuances, issuances effectively added economic stimulus in 2023 via more interest payments, but that could switch to a drag on growth next year. A drag on growth could lead to a hard landing. The research also shows that people who are prepared with a career plan, with a with a, an emergency preparedness plan inside that career plan, the career plan is your broad uh, goals for what you want to accomplish in your life, but your emergency preparedness plan is how are you going to respond if you have one of those unforeseen layoffs? Now, not all of the economic news is bad. People get lulled into a sense of, oh, I don't really need to worry. 
This story suggests you really need to worry. But the, in the same publication, there was another story that said, hey, maybe the good times are about ready to roll again. The roaring 20s are so back, baby. <laughs> and economists also argue that there are certain key performance indicators that, that really align almost identical with the economic conditions that existed at the time that the roaring 20s launched off into a really interesting time. So, okay, probably, maybe, hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure. I hope the roaring 20s come back, but it was a time of incredible economic growth followed by, of course, the Great Depression. The one thing I can say for somebody who's been in search for 27 years is the people who have a career plan, the people who have, who, who have anticipated unforeseen emergencies, political setbacks, layoffs, loss of jobs, these are the people that recover first and they go on to have successful career. There's a way forward. And you can succeed. Even if you're in the depths of despair today, you can succeed. We have the keys to help you change. And it, we understand how this market is evolving. We understand the techn technology and we will guide you. Now, one of the things we do weekly, we've been doing free office hours. That becomes members only January 15th. We plan to start that January 1st, but now that moves to January 15th. This week, we're going to have uh, a, a really great session on examples of how to how to word your answers into a story format that will be memorable for the interviewers. And those are the those are those are the ways that you get higher. You you become more memorable and more impactful than the other candidates. In a job interview, zero sum game. Somebody wins. And if you look at the odds on if you are applying online and if you are shame on you, you need to have a network the odds are two to 300 to one that you that you can get hired. So there's a lot of hard work that goes into finding a job. And what I tell people now is active career management is not looking for a job. Active career management is, is about managing your brand, managing your career, managing your satisfaction, managing your income for the rest of your life. That's what it's all about. And if you don't make an intentional effort to do this, you will have some really unfortunate bumps in the road. So we hope you'll consider joining our committee, uh, community. It's only $49 a month, all access pass to all of our education from the resume, job interviewing, uh, networking, uh, networking 3.0, the new networking approach. You get access to all of this information on an unlimited basis. You also get six hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now, we had made that original offer for December 31st. We're taking it through the end of this week Friday, to Friday night at midnight. So if you sign up for membership, you get six hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's an $800 value. So we hope you'll become members of your career community. The guide to your career will be distributed via Substack for a subscription. Uh, and you can also get the uh, news, uh, newsletter on our community page for members as part of the membership. Now, we also are going to be doing four exciting career boot camps this year, four at once a quarter. These are these valuable educational sessions will be free to members. We'll cover things like the resume, the job interview, uh, networking 3.0, and managing your career, how to create a plan. Now, these are going to be free to our members. Uh, Non-members will pay uh, an enrollment fee. Now, you will also, once you become a member, you get access to coaching sessions on a discounted basis. You know, this is something that I think a lot of people really don't pay attention. You spend 75% of your waking time at work. If you do not love what you do, it's time to change. This is the start of a new year. It's the start of the, a, a new approach to managing your career. Don't put it off. It, you absolutely have to be more active in your career management than in the past because the technology is changing how the, the requirements of finding a job, the difficulty of finding a job. And so you just can't take it for granted anymore. It's time to change and we can help. Thanks, everybody. We hope you'll join us for office hours at 4 p.m. on Wednesday as a member. Uh, they, if you once you become a member, you get access to the page and you get the links for office hours will be. Uh, and uh, then that information is, is archived on our site. And we'll be announcing details about our, our library that we've been working on uh, for you as well. So your career community at johngself.com. Thanks so much. 
See you soon.